Hello, I'm David. And I'm Janet. And with Derek as our engineer, we're here to bring you the audio version of the BCP Council Spring 2022 newsletter. Welcome. Welcome to the audio summary of the Spring 2022 edition of BCP News, our official magazine for residents in Bournemouth, Christchurch and Poole. Our last magazine was in summer 2021, so there are lots of developments and updates for you in this edition. An introduction from the Leader of the Council, Councillor Drew Meller. Lighter, warmer days are here, and there's plenty for my family and yours to look forward to, right here in Bournemouth, Christchurch and Poole. Experience all that our iconic place has to offer, from the outstanding natural beauty to the array of events and activities that form part of this year's Festival Coast Live programme. And let's not forget the special opportunity to celebrate the Queen's Platinum Jubilee. I am committed to bringing back positivity and pride in our place. That's why we continue to tackle the issues that we know matter most to you. Investing in our frontline services for cleaner, greener, safer towns and neighbourhoods. We are also taking action to ensure our area and services are fit for purpose and sustainable in the future. This includes creating a Green Futures Fund to tackle the climate agenda head-on, unlocking regeneration opportunities and delivering our big plan ambitions and council transformation. We are not complacent and know there are challenges to face, including helping residents through the cost of living squeeze and businesses through Pan post-pandemic changes. After the ups and downs of the last couple of years, it's now time for families, friends and our diverse communities to come together, support each other and make the most of this spring and summer. Hub and Library for Christchurch now open. Our first customer hub and library opened in the heart of Christchurch High Street in December 2021, bringing our services together and making them more accessible to residents. A new BCP Council Hub and Library is expected to open this summer. The library in the Dolphin Centre is temporarily closed while building works take place to incorporate customer services and to replace heating, lighting and ventilation systems. A further BCP Council Hub and Library for Bournemouth, located in the existing Bournemouth Library, will follow. These changes form part of our transformation plans to better support the needs of our most vulnerable customers in accessing council services. We have created a single BCP Council Civic Centre in Bournemouth, which is enabling us to reduce the number and cost of our offices across the conurbation. Your library service. Take another look. You know that you can borrow books from your local library. But did you know you can also get creative, stay connected and learn new skills? Just some of the services and activities on offer include baby wriggle and rhyme sessions, toy libraries and holiday activities, one of the largest public music collections in the South and even a music studio at Hamworthy Library, reading groups, author visits and shared reading groups including for people with dementia, Social groups including Scrabble, Knitting, Colouring, Bridge and Local and Family History. Reading Friends Befriending Service to help reduce loneliness and isolation. Free Wi-Fi computers, internet access and help to get online. Online services to access e-books, e-audiobooks, magazines and newspapers. The Home Library Service free book and audio book delivery to people who are unable to visit a library, advice sessions from Citizens Advice and others. For more information, telephone 01202 127000. Learn something new, improve your confidence and better your future. Skills and Learning is the Council's joint adult education service working across Dorset with people aged 19 and over. 
The service provides part-time education and has exciting new courses enrolling now. Skills and Learning offer daytime, evening and weekend courses in over a hundred subjects, <coughs> both in the classroom and online to benefit your well-being and employment prospects. Subjects include arts and crafts, computing and digital skills, English, maths and much more. For more information, telephone 01202 123444. Paying for your local services. The council tax you pay contributes to funding your local services, including precepts for adult social care and emergency services, police and fire and rescue. Your 2022-23 council tax bill will arrive soon. To make life simpler, consider paying by direct debit. During March and April, our customer services team are extremely busy and you may need to wait if using the phone lines. Did you know that from the 1st of April 2022, Barclays will be the Council's single bank provider? Please check you are using our latest details, especially if you're a Bournemouth or Christchurch customer. The sort code is 206895. Account number 20627437. Account name BCP Council hyphen income. The telephone numbers for the council tax team are 01202 123333 for Bournemouth residents <coughs> and 0345 034-4569 for Christchurch and Poole residents. Transforming Travel on Track Our Transforming Travel's Transforming Cities Fund, TCF programme, is making great progress. Construction of new walking, cycling and bus facilities is well underway at multiple locations on six new sustainable travel routes across South East Dorset. The improvements, largely funded through central government, aim to reduce congestion on our busy roads by giving people safe, green and active travel alternatives to the car, particularly for short journeys. The 78-kilometre network of eco-friendly travel routes link Wimborne and Ferndown in the north with Poole in the south and Murley in the west across to Bournemouth and Christchurch in the east, connecting major housing, employment, education, leisure and retail centres. Money is also being invested in on-site facilities to encourage active journeys to and from school and work, new barrel bikes and wayfinding totems. Delivering our big plan and vision for the future. Our big plan is all about creating better places for people to enjoy. We will do this through projects within five key themes that will achieve positive changes across our whole area. Children, culture and communities are at the heart of our delivery plans. One, creating an iconic place. Two, ongoing investment in our seafront. Three, a focus on rejuvenating pool. Four, investing in our physical and digital infrastructure. And five, acting at scale to live, deliver homes, invest in our communities and support job creation. See the changes, experience the benefits. Changes are already taking place with on the ground improvements happening now and benefits you can see and feel. These include Major investment has taken place at Bournemouth's Lansdowne to transform the area, which includes a new event space and art installation coming soon. Smart Place Initiative for better digital connectivity has provided free public Wi-Fi in Lansdowne and Bourne Boscombe. Exciting seafront developments for this summer season with an array of new alfresco dining and pop-up catering experiences along the coastline, a vintage funfair in Bournemouth 
and the relocation of the beach gymnasium to East Cliff's Toft Steps. A new environmental hub for visitors and residents at the seafront completes at Durley Chine later this spring. The hub will provide a lead on recycling in public spaces, helping reduce single-use plastic and waste. Festival Coast Live, back for the second year, provide a vibrant, diverse spectacle of outdoor events and activities across the area. Heritage Lottery funding secured and work starting to transform Pool Mu Museum by 2024 into an outstanding cultural centre and community hub making it more accessible and supporting the rejuvenation of historic pool. Improvements and funding identified to improve our children's services and provide high quality special education needs and disability SEND provision. We have also created a new urban regeneration company, Future Places, to drive forward a multi-billion pound investment and regeneration programme to make Bournemouth, Christchurch and Poole one of the best coastal places in which to live, work, invest and play. Future Places will play a key role in supporting our big plan to create 13,000 jobs across all sectors of the economy and deliver 15,000 homes at the highest quality, at all levels of affordability. Ongoing efforts to boost pride in our place. Our cleaner, greener, safer programme of works <coughs> are continuing as we drive forward efforts to bring back a sense of pride in place. We're focusing on issues that we know matter most to residents across Bournemouth, Christchurch and Poole. There are opportunities for local people to get involved too, from reporting issues you see to taking part in communi community of volunteering events such as litter picks and clean-up days. Councillor Nicola Green, portfolio holder for Council Priorities and Delivery, said, Our Cleaner, Greener, Safer campaign reflects the priority we place on pride and confidence in our local areas. We choose to live, work and relax here. Therefore, we must continue to work together to reach our objectives. Even the smallest wins can make a huge difference and I'm incredibly pleased with what we've achieved so far. Cleaner streets. Street audits are underway to inform investment for things like bin replacements, sign cleaning, weed control and furniture painting. We are developing a new litter bin strategy and deploying additional street <laughs> cleansing teams. Each year around 12,000 drains and gullies are cleared and 1,250 kilometres of roads are cleansed. Greener areas. We are proud to have planted 10,000 trees in 2021, around half being in urban areas. We also sowed wildflower seed to grow beautiful meadows in several locations across soft verges, parks and open spaces, creating vital habitats for insect pollinators. In August 21, Plans were proposed for Throop Nature Park that will provide us with more green space to explore while also protecting our national, natural environment and encouraging biodiversity. Look out for more details as the plans develop. Safer communities. Over 500 CCTV cameras are being monitored 24 hours a day, helping to keep you safe and an additional £100,000 is being invested to support CCTV in urban areas. Community Safety Accreditation Scheme, CSAS, offices cover key areas including Poole and Bournemouth Town Centres, Ashley Road and Boscombe. Funding for further CSAS offices will help tackle a range of issues including antisocial behaviour. Councillor Bobby Dove, portfolio holder for Community Safety and Regulatory Services, said, We are also leading a new Community Safety Partnership, SAFER BCP, with the Police, Probation Service, Health Partners and Fire and Rescue Service. The partnership works with residents, businesses and community groups to increase safety and reduce crime and disorder. Yearly plans will be developed 
to target some of the biggest concerns we all share so that everyone can live, work or visit our area free from the fear of crime. Telephone us if you see any issues that need reporting to our council service teams. Nurturing nature in local parks. We are transforming eight local parks across the conurbation into wildlife rich sites whilst encouraging local communities to reconnect with nature and learn more about the environment. Eight community parks will benefit from government funding to bring them back to life, increasing biodiversity and enhancing the park's appearance. Together with the Parks Foundation, we were awarded £224,000 from the Green Recovery Challenge Fund for this nature recovery project, which involves the following parks. Branksome Recreation Ground, Muscliffe Park, Pelham's Park, Jumpers Common, Kinson Manor Playing Fields, Haskell's Recreation Ground, Slade's Farm and Stroudon Park. This is in addition to the Pilots Parks initiative that is being delivered in Alexandra Park, Waterman's Park and Winton Recreation Ground. We will be improving the park's wildlife by planting bulbs, wildflowers and hedgerows to provide more habitat and food for birds, insects and small mammals such as hedgehogs. The draft plans also include creating a wetland garden at Branksome Recreation Ground with Purbeck stone boulders to provide a playful path for children to step into nature. An orchard of fruit and nut trees at Slade's Farm is also proposed with the spring blossom providing an early source of pollen as wildlife starts to venture out after the winter months. The Parks Foundation has recruited dedicated people to help deliver the project, known as Park Activators. They are also running inspiring activities to help you connect with nature on your doorstep. Activities include mini-beast hunting, nocturnal nature walks, making bird feeders and other nature crafts. There are lots of volunteering opportunities too including citizen science surveys, which involve documenting the different species that visit each park to help measure the success of the project. S of the project. S of the project. Changing face of the high street. Across the country, high streets and district centres are changing and the Bournemouth, Christchurch and Poole BCP area is no exception. COVID-19 has arguably sped up a process that was already underway and created a new reality. It has also provided an opportunity to embrace the change, consider how best we can create high streets that are fit for today and for the future. Last year, we asked you to tell us what you love and would want to change about high streets. We are now using your feedback to work with communities and business groups to develop detailed action plans to support our high streets and town centres. In the meantime, we continue to work closely with trade associations, business improvement districts, BIDS, and other partners to target funding for cleaner, greener, safer spaces, support exciting events such as Festival Coast Live, and breathe new life into empty buildings. Bournemouth has recently received a prestigious Purple Flag accreditation for a well-managed evening and nighttime economy. Purple Flag towns are recognised for providing a vibrant and diverse mix of dining, entertainment and culture, while promoting visitor safety and well-being. This summer's Festival Coast Live events attract visitors and residents into the town centre to enjoy both daytime and evening experiences. Residents walking through Christchurch may have spotted improvements to a well-used underpass, including bright and colourful wall art. 
The joint project with Christchurch Chamber of Trade and Commerce has seen the underpass linking Waitrose and Saxon Square receive a full makeover late last year, including a deep clean, new wall artwork and new safety initiatives. Pool has been selected as one of 68 high streets across England to fund a heritage action zone. This partnership programme with Historic England provide, includes providing grants for property and business owners along the high street to repair their historic buildings and bring vacant buildings and upper floors back into use. We are also focusing on our 16 district communities to understand opportunities to improve these places, starting with Broadstone, Kinson and Highcliffe, and have allocated funding to take forward projects. For Money worries help and support for local people. The long-term impact of the pandemic on household finances, along with concerns about cost of living increases, has left many local people worried about paying the bills and affording everyday essentials. You may have experienced an unexpected change in financial circumstances, or price rises have left you in fuel or food poverty. It is important to know that if you are struggling, you are not alone, but you do need to seek advice as soon as possible. Let's talk money. If you're worried about debts, rent arrears, claiming benefits, or need support to find employment, you can get free advice and support through the Citizens Advice Let's Talk Money programme. Find out more by calling us on 01202 985 104. Housing Early Prevention Service. If you're renting privately and are getting into arrears, our prevention service is here to help, with honest, supportive advice relevant to your situation. Call us on 01202 118600. Food poverty. Community food providers can help you and your family to access essential supplies. There are local food banks, community fridges and pantries. Telephone us on 01202 one two three four five six if you are struggling to afford to eat and need more information free energy saving advice for eligible residents one of the best ways to save on fuel bills is to reduce the amount of energy you use at home for heating lighting and to power appliances find out if you are eligible for insulation and heating grants or for free gadgets and advice through the Local Energy Advice Partnership Scheme. To find out more, contact Ridgewater Energy on 01202 612726. Simple Energy Saving Tips The Energy Saving Trust has this advice for householders to save money on their energy. You can save around £40 a year just by remembering to turn your appliances off standby mode. Turn your lights off when you are not using them or when you leave a room to save around £14 a year on your annual energy bills. Use your washing machine on a 30 degree cycle instead of higher temperatures and save £10 a year on energy. Only wash your clothes in your washing machine when you have a full load, as one less wash per week for a year could save you an extra £10. Avoid using a tumble dryer for your clothes on fine days. Drying outside in warmer weather can save £40 a year. Keeping your shower time to four minutes could save a typical household £45 a year and swapping one bath a week with a four-minute shower could save you a further £7 a year on your energy bills. Avoid overfilling the kettle and save yourself £8 a year on your electricity bill. Have you heard about the Carers Support Service? It is estimated that there are thousands of unpaid carers across Bournemouth, Christchurch and Poole who look after a loved one, neighbour or friend. 
These informal carers are providing support to family and friends who could not manage without help, perhaps due to illness, mental ill health, disability or a substance misuse problem. We provide a carer's information service to support family stroke unpaid carers. Whilst many people find their caring responsibilities rewarding, there are times when people need practical help with their caring role, advice about finances or emotional and well-being support. Councillor Karen Rampton, portfolio holder for People and Homes, said, Many people in this situation do not identify themselves as a carer. We want to make sure that anyone who is looking after someone else doesn't struggle on their own and seeks the help and support that is available to them. Informal or unpaid carers who want to find out more can contact our friendly and knowledgeable team who provide our carers resource information support program, CRISP, which includes information and advice and guidance, events and activities, respite support, carer discount card. For more information, telephone 01202 128787. New Liberty Protection Safeguards are coming. The law around protecting the human rights of people needing health or social care support is changing. The Deprivation of Liberty Safeguards, D-O-L-S, currently apply to people aged 18 or over in hospital or care homes who lack the capacity to make decisions about the arrangements for their care. Some examples of people who may lack capacity include, include those with dementia, a severe learning disability, brain injury or mental health illness. The government is planning to replace DOLS with Liberty Protection Safeguards, LPS which are likely to be introduced later this year or early next year. Key changes mean the new safeguards will apply to people aged 16 and over, apply to domestic settings, be integrated into the planning for people's care and support at an earlier stage. The new Liberty Protection Safeguards will be simpler and clearer to all affected parties, delivering improved outcomes for those deprived of their liberty and their family or unpaid carers. Paid carers. Paid. Plan your street party now to celebrate the Queen's Platinum Jubilee. The Queen's Platinum Jubilee will be celebrated across the country, the Commonwealth and around the world this year, as Her Majesty marks an unprecedented 70 years on the throne. The special four-day Platinum Jubilee Bank holiday weekend begins on Thursday the 2nd of June and will include public events such as Trooping the Colour and a live concert at Buckingham Palace, culminating in the big Jubilee lunch and pageant on Sunday the 5th of June when people across the country will be invited to sit down together to enjoy street parties. National Thank You Day, where we say thank you to our communities, is also being held on the same day to coincide with the Jubilee. Can we break the record for Britain's biggest ever national party as part of the Queen's Jubilee celebrations? You are invited. Residents of Bournemouth, Christchurch and Poole are encouraged to plan and host street parties and join in on Sunday the 5th of June to bring their communities together in a spirit of friendship and fun to mark this very special occasion. Whether you plan to host a small gathering in your garden, local park or driveway, or if you are going to organise a whole community event with trestle tables down the middle of your street, this is a fantastic opportunity to bring people together and say thank you to our neighbours and community after all we have been through over the past two years. Councillor Beverly Dunlop, portfolio holder for Culture and Vibrant Places, said, We have a wonderful mix of cultures across Bournemouth, Christchurch and Poole and it would be amazing to see families coming together 
to celebrate this unique event and make new friends. Let's take this opportunity to share our pride in our beautiful towns and celebrate our diverse and colourful communities over our favourite foods as we celebrate Her Majesty's Platinum Jubilee. And let's break the record for street parties. For those residents keen to host a community street party, it's easy to apply via our website to close your road and this will be free of charge for the Platinum Jubilee weekend. Please note that all applications to close your road for a street party must be received by the 22nd of April 2022 at the very latest. Remember, roads that are on bus routes cannot be considered for closure. The Daily Echo is also encouraging residents to participate in the Jubilee celebrations and is running a shopping voucher competition linked to street party applications. Full details are available in the Daily Echo in print and online at bournemouthecho.co.uk. Find out more about hosting a street party, celebrating the Queen's Platinum Jubilee and local beacon lighting events at BCP Council dot gov dot uk forward slash platinum jubilee and platinum jubilee is all one word did you know the queen intends to award new city status to areas as part of her jubilee celebrations bournemouth charter trustees have put bournemouth forward and a decision is expected this spring visit bcpcouncil.gov.uk dot uk forward slash city bid city bid Events, festivals and things to do in 2022. Soak up the culture, get in the festival spirit or just sit back and relax. However you prefer to use your leisure time, you can be sure you will be entertained with many free and pocket-friendly events and activities over the coming months. Festival Coast Live is now entering its second year and will feature a whole host of local artists and performers ready to entertain and inspire you through the summer holidays. Organised across Bournemouth, Christchurch and Poole, a series of pop-up activities promised to celebrate live music, dance, heritage, culture, well-being and lifestyle. Highlighting the diverse and rich cultures that make up our communities, live musicians, storytellers, dancers and street entertainers provide something for everyone. Councillor Beverly Dunlop, portfolio holder for Culture and Vibrant Places, said, After the challenges of the last two years, 2022 is shaping up to be thrilling and packed with a diverse range of entertainment, showcasing local talent, international artists and performers, and world-class events that will shine a spotlight on our wonderful towns and fabulous coast. From arts to food, aircraft to bikes, vintage to modern, from Festival Coast Live to the Platinum Jubilee celebrations, it's all happening right here in Bournemouth, Christchurch and Poole. Diary dates. Whether you love art, crave a good cheese or enjoy live music, pop some of these events in your diary. <coughs> May, the 27th to 28th, Upton Country Park Music Concerts. 28th to 29th, Cheese and Chilli Festival, Christchurch. June, 2nd to the 5th, the Christchurch Food Festival and the Queen's Platinum Jubilee. The 3rd to the 5th, Pool Seafood Festival. 11th to the 12th, Highcliffe Food and Arts Festival. The 18th of June, Harry Pay Day Pirates Festival in Pool. 25th to the 26th of June, three events, Shake and Stir Southbourne, Upton House Food and Drink Festival and Folk on the Key Music Festival. Moving on to July, from the 1st to the 3rd, Christchurch Music Festival, and then the 8th to the 9th, again three events, 
Bourne Free, Bournemouth Pride, Sand Polo at Pool, and um, Upton Country Park Music Festival, Pool. 9th to the 10th of July, Pool Goes Vintage by Shake and Stir. 10th of July, <coughs> Sandfest, Pool. 16th to the 17th of July, Grooves on the Green, Ashley Cross. 21st to the 28th of July, Summer Fireworks on the Quay, Pool. 29th to the 31st of July, Pool Harbour Festival. 29th <coughs> to the 31st of July, Reggae Weekend of Bournemouth. And 30th to the 31st of July, Muddiford Arts Festival, Christchurch. In August, on the 4th, 11th, 18th and 25th, Summer Fireworks on the Quay, Pool. And the 5th, 12th, 19th and 26th, Summer Fireworks in Bournemouth. 1st to the 4th of September, Bournemouth Air Festival. 30th of September to the 2nd of October, Bournemouth Arts by the Sea. All events are subject to change. Please check the full details before making your journey. That is the end of the Spring 2022 BCP Council Newsletter. Derek, David and I, Janet, send you our very best wishes. Wishes. <laughs>